the Punch Drunk Entertainment. You got your guys here with your Mr. Swag and Wag. And I'm just Dan. And we back with another reaction video. Some more CJ the Champ. This time it's Beyond Scare Straight, the Baki edition. And if you guys saw the last time we watched Baki, I'm excuse me, Ujiro. Yes, yes, yes. And you know what type of shit he was on. Now we got Baki. <laughs> I want to see the type of shit he was on because Ujiro was kicking his ass. So I got to see was Baki really like that. Is he really locked up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we were about to find out though. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, do all the things you do for YouTube because we love and appreciate you. So without further ado. So dude plays this video on the TV and is this nigga at his house? Oh, oh shit. So nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful as shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like. You know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. Oh. Uh, man's name was George Bush. <laughs> he was spelt differently, though. Yeah. What do you guys want to go I like about anime? They would definitely take American right, culture and just make fun of it. Yes. Today, we have a very special video. Because, uh, you see, we're going to jail. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Nigga, actually, not even jail. We going to maximum security prison. Mm. So our boy Baki done got locked up. Okay. Won't let him out. So yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison. Cause goddamn, this place reeks of black. Put strap out on prison. Some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But ladies yeah. and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive into the Arizona State Prison. As we will observe pure ignorance, mm. nigga. Like that, nigga. Oh and the heart no. Wait a minute! I see a, a black man get brutally beat by COs while getting choked. Oh my gosh! Let's go. We are ready. Programming golf. Here we go. All right, y'all. So before we get into the prison, we got to understand uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place. I thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he going to end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, <laughs> at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference going on because the African army was fighting a ginormous oversized African Damn, elephant right? that was terrorizing the entire savannah. And this guy right here is a sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering. Uh, he looked like, uh, shit, Ving Rand. How the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It was a nigga that killed that shit. A man in all black appeared and killed that. He's a black costume though. Okay, I just read, read. With his bare hands. At this point, you could just guess who did mm. this shit. Bro, I don't know what this man Yujiro is. Who could beat him, daddy? How he's out here killing <laughs> no one could beat him, African elephants and then he ate the nigga. <laughs> She yeah. made a whole ass year's worth of protein. And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before he comes <laughs> your ass next. So that yeah. dude gets up and he's like, look, I say to the facts, I'm done talking to y'all niggas. And I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do the same damn thing. Yeah. Like if I saw a nigga kill an African elephant with his bare hands, what the fuck am I supposed to tell you? Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. <laughs> you look at me like, this nigga dumb. But in the Baki universe, shit, I'll believe anything. So now yeah. we cut to this little kid getting bullied and they're like, hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that <laughs> high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find. So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas that do not look like high schoolers. They do not. No, oh, they don't. Christ. They look like they at least pushing 33. So then his little <laughs> ass pulls out the shank and then oh, they shit. just start laughing at the nigga. So then he's trying to talk to him, but they like, say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, <laughs> Please, please, you're not the strongest guy. So they like, oh, you looking for that big nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids, and the kids like, I right, bro. They said, after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big homie uh -huh. said, they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you. Just don't be a bitch. And of course, these little badass, baby ass kids laughing and shit. Oh, but they ain't going to be laughing soon. So they go oh, to shit. the river, and there he is. Son to the biggest menace on planet. Hey, Earth. Look at Baki. Those badass kids running like some bitches. So then little homie pull out the <laughs> knife, and Baki like, so you going to use that small ass knife? I right, bet. I ain't holding back then. This man is dead serious ready to run the ones with a child. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. This nigga's dead serious. This nigga's dead serious. I ain't going home to mama today. So then Baki asks him, can you swim? And he's like, uh, a little. Then Baki's like, 
bet. So bro flash steps and smacks the lip. Oh. Christ, oh my God. <laughs> he screamed my <laughs> ass, bro. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. It made bro skip on Skipped him like a rock. <laughs> hit that kid with full force. So then Baki befriends the kid. But then Yujiro's personal chauffeur, Stridum, comes out of nowhere. So then he's like, hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size Sheesh. of a dinosaur, right? So that means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are going to go at it for round two. Hopefully it don't go like round one. Wow. So Stridum's like, all right, how you going to respond? And Baki just starts yawning. He's like, it's all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. So Stridum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. So Baki's like, all right, bro, I got to find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing a ghost of Mike Tyson. Oh, out yo, what the f in the Casper is going on right now? Bro is fighting yeah. the ghost of Mike Tyson. He's saying you want to son. Oh, now nah, we didn't think he could get even crazier, right? This man starts fighting a plane. What? Mantis. What in the fuck? He's fighting Mantis from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I, I, I just don't question anything anymore in this show. So now we cut to America and they got this parade going on and we got President George Bosch. Bosch? <laughs> yo, yo, this nigga Bush. So yeah. while the parade is going on, they end up losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. I thought he got John F. Kennedy. That nigga. Like, God damn, Secret Service, y'all niggas ass. How the fuck you could basically let a damn child take the Get president she won't see my ass running for goddamn uh, president anytime soon if this is my goddamn secret service so Baki ends up having tea with this nigga and bush like uh you realize that you just kidnapped the president of the u.s of a my nigga right and Baki like hell yeah i know shit i meant to he throw a shoe at you bush asks what is Baki's demands and this man Baki says the u.s arizona state prison yeah lock me up nigga all right so is this nigga get serious this man Bush like, wait, 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 you kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga Biscuit and you don't want no money or no Biscuit. bitches? He's the weakest ass demands I've ever heard. Yo, this man Baki is really taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga, I'm going to prison. So our boy Baki gets arrested. He gets locked up. The niggas- What's a Biscuit name somebody want him from life? And he gets- I think it, was it life? Hey, where you going, Biscuit? <laughs> I definitely was in the name of the movie. Forgot which one. All right, we're getting to prison. Here we go. Beyond scare Mikey straight, y'all. to the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> And the reason this man oh. is called Unchained Damn. is because he can leave the prison whenever the hell he wants to. So basically, Damn. this whole place is his house. And yo, look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. I mean, look at this big mother. <laughs> he almost broke the chair. So Baki wants to run the hands with Biscuit, but Biscuit yeah. explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Nigga, you just a rookie. But Baki decides, you know what, f the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but <laughs> he ate that shit for breakfast, Daddy. nigga. Look at him. Relax, young blood. Don't catch me with that weak shit. So Baki gets sent to a cell, and apparently the second strongest person in the prison is in that same cell. So as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate, and it's Iron Michael. Oh hey. my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. So Baki asks Mike, hey, yo, I know you got to be number two, nigga. You Mike Tyson. But this man Mike says, nah, I ain't even in the top ten. I ain't in the top ten. <laughs> Oh shit! Right, hold up, wait a damn minute. So, uh, this nigga Mike Tyson ain't even in the. He's out on dying. Type of monsters, fucking fiends. You got locked up in this bitch, nigga. What the fuck is this Arkham? Who y'all got locked up here? <laughs> <laughs> Clayface, Killer Croc, nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. So mm. then they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga damn. gotta be like seven seven. Step out the hallway. He thinks that okay, this gotta be number two, but. Nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and says, Hey, yo, second, wake the f up. So Check this nigga comes out the casket like Vincent Valentine. <laughs> and he's like, Hey, yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, There you go. This nigga just come out the locker? Nah, nah, nah. Did he sleep in the locker? Oh, nah, this man different. So then Baki asks him, Hey, yo, why you sleep in the broom closet? And this man says, I'm a warrior. Hey, <laughs> boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Dang. Ain't no way, boy. 
Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to really think really hard about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you yes, of yes. a very notorious mm -hmm. <laughs> prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. There you go. <laughs> and I won't. That we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard <laughs> way. The choice is yours. I'm a warrior too. <laughs> Ain't no. And he in the broom closet. That yep. <laughs> happening right now. This nigga's a booty warrior. <laughs> oh man. Oh nigga, you best not drop the soap. So while they're lining <laughs> him up and explaining the rules of the prison, this man Gavar is doing whatever the hell he want to. Man, smoking a whole cig while he's giving a whole debrief. So then he goes over and asks Mike, "Hey, yo, what's for breakfast?" And Mike tells him pork and beans, but he can't talk, so he gets sucked by the police officer. Bro, he dead ass made this man get sucked. Cause Gavar would have beat his ass if he didn't say shit. So he just went ahead and just took the beating from. I'm the not very CEO. fine of pork. Oh my gosh, bro, that is so fun. <laughs> so yeah, Guevara, aka no! the second coming what of the, the booty warrior, is a different breed of human. Like, bro, what is he doing to this Yo, screen right now? He's a this big oh. man trying to fight him, but it, it it did not go so well for this nigga. And look how disrespectful this is. He Man. grabs the officer's gun, puts it in his hands, and he's like, "All right, hold on tight. Make sure to shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga." But right Whoa. before he pulled the trigger, he cocks dude mm. in his balls. Oh my god and, and that nigga's decommissioned so after he kicked the dude Damn. in the dick he's like hey yo guards uh i want an after school exercise with this nigga so they have a <laughs> sumo match and bro this man can't even pick him up so Damn. Then he grabs a piece of his hair sticks it in his ear and it literally killed his eardrums so dude fell over wow so after Gavar leaves, the officer comes over to Big Boy and he's like, hey, yo, uh, why are you up in here alone? I know you see that sign, you blind motherfucker. So then he pops dude in the back of the head. He <laughs> and he says, yeah, yo, yo, what type of savage show is this? Why do I told me about Baki? <laughs> like, the Yujiro <laughs> stuff we heard, and I'm like, all right, that's a little crazy. This is way, this, this is a different level right now, bro. <laughs> yo, bro, like... Nah, y'all, y'all, we might have to do a live reaction to the actual show with this one. This is wild, man. Bruh. Them. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom, and while everybody's leaving, Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But he ate that shit and grabbed his baton. Ayo. And this nigga does the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki graduate from shit talking university? Boy got the shit talk, shit talk no me. So Baki gets put in <laughs> solitary confinement in this very uncomfortable position. Oh God, yo. that's how they cuffed him? Feel <laughs> Goodness, <laughs> yo. So we get a little bit of Guevara's backstory and apparently this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cat in the goddamn secret mm. service. You've done it again. So dude plays his video on the TV and is this nigga at his house? <laughs> oh my God, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is Yo. ridiculous shit. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, for real though, this gotta be like the biggest cuck move in like anime history. <laughs> Bruh. Like, uh, you know, you know what scene I'm talking about, but we ain't talking about that shit here today. That shit is forbidden. But yeah, this man oh, God. Oh, got out of his entire security force and took a whole tour of his house. Uh, uh bro, that 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 that's one of the most disrespectful moments I've ever seen. So later on, the warden is talking about taking out Mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison. So mm. he gets these triplet-looking niggas called the mouth. One's named the <laughs> lip, the tooth, and the <laughs> yo. And the hell is this these oompa loompa ass niggas in unison and shit oh hell bro, no, bro. I, can't, I can't say what i want to say because i might if they start jumping this nigga in unison i've never seen motherfuckers jump a nigga so precisely so then they put mike in a quarter in jesus christ god damn fight back then they stomped him out oh my gosh bro <laughs> 
this might be the most brutal jump in the yeah, jump by the mouth. And, and that yeah. man is gone, bro. But right before they about to slice his ass up, this man Gavar yeah. out of nowhere, rolling out like <laughs> Samus in Morph Ball form. So yeah. three Oompa Loompas surround his ass, but then he whips out his dick and starts pissing on him. Oh! R. Kelly in the bitch! This nigga really just whipped out his shit and took a piss on him. Motherfucker like, I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. <laughs> but dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow Pirates of the Caribbean type Me? shit. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Send his ass <laughs> to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other nigga pissed his pants and got the step. Yeah. <laughs> Let him then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, G, I'm done. So later on, <laughs> the cell while they're chatting it up. This oh, that did not look right. This biscuit busts up in the damn room, and he's like, hey, yo, Guevara, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his shit. Damn. And biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine-ass girlfriend's handkerchief. Oh. And apparently <laughs> the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But this man... Oh! <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is wrong with this show? Looks like well, just some shadows of her, and we don't get to see much. But she has a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him. She threw the whole bottle of Crown at that nigga. <laughs> Damn. Yo, this man Biscuit is a savage, but. Yo, this man is down bad horrendous. Now it's a day of fight and all the prisoners are here to watch this. The number one and number two are about to throw down. So them biscuits coming out with this big ass bed and everybody's like, hey, yo, no way. This could actually be her. We actually get to see what she looked like. Even the one is like, hey, yo, no way. He actually brought her out. So we all thinking, all right, yo, she got to be fine as hell. She got to be the baddest chick we probably ever Bruh. seen. Well, uh. Oh, gosh. The legendary lover. <laughs> wow. What the fuck? Ain't, ain't, ain't no goddamn. My mind must be deceiving me. Hey, right man. Somebody you like the BBWs, man. My sister. <laughs> like rotisserie ass chicken. This big bodied woman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bitch is the bed. This gotta be the biggest. What the actual fuck moment I, I've ever seen in an anime. Hey, That's some big girls need love, too. Biscuit all we want. We could call him a big ass simp, ultra simp, but hey, hey. Who gonna check that nigga though? <laughs> Not me. I mean, look at dude. He busted out of his tuxedo and is still Dang. standing there behind Bruh. that mound of a beluga. No, let me stop myself. Let me stop myself. So how this fight is gonna work is you have to keep your hand on the cloth and the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. This Loki is the weirdest way to throw down, but fuck it, I'm all here for it. So Kavar socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the cloth. <laughs> <laughs> his pinky and his thumb. This wow. The craziest grip strength I've ever seen. So Gavar continues to tee off on Biscuit, but then he grabs his oh, head yeah. and slaps mm. that nigga into the ground. So while Baki's watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. So this man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my God. Oh. Uh. Bed on top of the bed. <laughs> so they just lose a handkerchief after that. So this man is so pissed off. He whacks this nigga so Dang. hard. He cracks into the wall. And everybody's like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga is dead. But we all know Guevara has like yeah. some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. So now they start for real swinging. Damn. Hey. Hey, that nigga like a flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And he oh, is shit. Laughing, so he's like, wait a minute something's wrong and all that shit that just played out was a dream because that <laughs> nigga got knocked off <laughs> biscuit nigga bitch shit is as straight as a board and everybody's like damn he really just violated that nigga so he picks up his mattress and takes off <laughs> <laughs> his mattress yo then is driving but yo you're like wait a minute why is the president driving? And then you see this nigga, Yujiro, is in the back in seat. 
Oh my god. Yo, this uh. nigga dead ass made the president his butler. So after the fight, the second coming of the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. So now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside? And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right now. But Baki said, fuck it. So I got that nigga and do the station a whole Quick prison one. break. Man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. It. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to escape this shit? Baki says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in a flash. Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding them, holding them up at gunpoint? Yeah, he took their buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So he tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out. And right <laughs> as he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this, it. This had yo. to show him that he could if he wanted yeah. to. That gunpoint it made them all his bitch yep. and straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up and <laughs> I fucking love this man, so bro. He tells the warden to take off his cuss because he wants to run the hands. I'm trying right to. Now. You know what he look like? My guy off a of, uh, Biscuit look like my guy off a of, uh, class A. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> right there. <laughs> you gonna play my fault to me? <laughs> That's, what, that's the vibe I'm getting, bro. Yeah. This man, Baki, started talking so Is that dude in a buff Martin Luther King? Said, <laughs> grab some food and try again. <laughs> yo, yo! Everybody like, hey, yo, this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is pissed. He's like, I know this little nigga's not talking all this shit right now. So after that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in solitary confinement. <laughs> oh, While he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him, then he whips out his shit and pisses on him. Oh my yo, gosh, yo, bro! You know, when niggas pissing on niggas, <laughs> This is the real prison. The disrespectful things. They told you should chew on that. Oh, yo. Leak on that nigga. But after that, Baki just starts laughing at his ass. He like, damn nigga, you a bitch. You gotta piss on a nigga that's chained up? Damn, that's sad, bro. So later on, Biscuit <laughs> comes back to Wasella. He's like, all right, we gonna fight in two weeks. But Baki's like, nah. Fuck that, we fighting right here, right now. Do that. Kicks dude in his face. <laughs> so Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the f out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. So then he busts out the tuxedo and he's like, all right, little boy, I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> so Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Then he swung him like a towel Goodness. and speared him through like five other cells. Goodness. beat the hell out of him. Yo, this man is holding him like a toy and just eating all that, bro. And just throwing like a rag doll. Oh, he should have slapped. That's what I thought but was then happening. Then you see Baki spring up and there it is. That damn demon back. And that's when Biscuit knew that plot armor about to kick it real nice. <laughs> so he ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas mimicking Samus in this? So Baki yeah. throws a punch, but he blocks it and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type shit. So then he spits him out and then tries to do it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose. Oh, and bro good. was having the nose bleed of a lifetime. So then they face off and Baki's just ready to throw the hands at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch. I got leopard trolls now, bro. <laughs> Baki ends up pushing Bruh. him back in the nigga rocks. <sighs> Damn, he really did that shit. Bro knocked him out cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. Her old fee fa fo ass. So Biscuit picks up his measures <laughs> and leaves uh, And bitch. our boy Baki is a free man. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained, and now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pick <laughs>
Yeah, that oh, was man. Young scared straight. <laughs> and that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? Yeah. Nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy. Mm. Anyways, oh, you talking about JoJo? Mm -hmm. yeah, a big announcement real Ooh. quick. So, uh, your boy made a second channel. Believe it or not, I'm actually dropping the first vid tomorrow at the same time. So, yeah, I'm going to put the link in the description if y'all want to check it out. Yeah, you can see my black ass two days straight. But anyways, though, God bless y'all. And I'm out this hole. There you go, bro. Oh my god. Man. So much. It's so much to take in. <laughs> Bro, don't get me wrong. You Jero, you saw how savage you were. You saw all savagery. Mm -hmm. This one was straight gel savagery. But CJ the champ does it again. Beyond scared straight the Baki edition. He did it, man. I can't. I ain't got nothing else to say to you, bro. Only I'm gonna say we gonna watch Baki. <laughs> definitely. <man. laughs> That's the biggest thing coming out of this. We gonna yeah, watch Baki. Yeah, definitely, man. But we about to get up out of here. Click in the description for everything we do and this original video. Hit us up on the socials. Support your boys on the YouTube membership and the Patreon, and get that merch on your body from geeksleash.com. Hat shirts, tees, drop yeah, controllers, controllers. We got it all: hats, t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, mugs. Uh, summer stuff, winter stuff, geeksandleaks.com, link in the description. There you have it, people. Always remember, make memories, stay humble, live life. <laughs> Bye, I don't want to go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> we out.